Good day, mates. This is your favorite DJ, DJ OK. I know why you listen to me right now. You want to know why? Because my news is free. Okay, guys, I know, I know, I know, I know it's really late night, whatever, but I have things to do today, whatever. I had to go support my man's podcast um, and alongside his co-host, Jernique, uh, Gene E, a.k.a. Batman. Shout out to you guys. So I had to go show some support, man. That's what I do. Um, I show love with people that show me love. So, but let's get into some news, y'all. Um, let's just get right into it. So Wid performed Sunday night alongside Rud Shell in New Jersey. What can I say? For starters, I gotta say this, y'all. I'm officially a Rutchell fan. Rutchell is a freaking star, yo. I literally watched her all night. I was in awe. Yo, let me talk about it. Rutchell knows how to command the crowd. She knows how to command the crowd. It is crazy. And her fanatics. They gravitate to her. The way she moves on stage. It's just so... It's beautiful to watch, y'all. Retro has climbed my rankings as far as female Haitian artists. She's up there, bro. I'm not going to tell y'all who my number one is. But Retro is up there, man. And shout out to her. Okay. Wood performed. Wood... Wood is the most interesting man in Compa. Why do I say this? Why is DJ OK saying Wid is the most interesting man in Kumpa? Wid walked into XL like nightlife in New Jersey with like nine security guards. And when he was chilling his in his VIP, he had like five or six. You know what? Let me show you. She was highly upset, and when she got off that stage, she let them know about it. I caught it at the butt end of it, but she was spazzing out on the side of the stage because they cut her time short. Because initially, the club was supposed to get out at 3 o'clock. Police came and said, no, we're getting out at 2 o'clock tonight. Not in, It's not the promoter's fault. There's nothing they can do about it. It's not their establishment. But she let them know how she, she felt about it. But she's such a cool girl. She just hugged it out after that, and then she, she didn't even stay. She just left, man. Huh? I caught, like I said, I caught the butt end of it. Of course I got the video. So Wid is a crowd favorite. He has a repertoire of music. The ladies love him. The fellas love him too. Wid is a star. He moves like a star. He moves like a guy with money. His manager is on point. My guy know my. This is the problem I have with Wid this to um, Sunday night. This is your second time in New Jersey, Wid. This is for New Jersey. Why? You only got 30 minutes. Mind you, they, they cut the time short, so he only had 30 minutes to perform. Wid, why is your first song that you perform not even your song? It's Risha Kave's song, Kairi song, Paul Favar. Mamacita, mamacita, mamacita. Why do we need to hear mamacita? Like, why do we need to hear that? You have Kole, you have Muen Beni. You, like, you have all these repertoire. <sighs> Tornail, man. So, Wid, for future references, anywhere you go, Anywhere you go, we want to hear your music. We want to hear your music. I don't mind you singing Swit It Dust It. Swit It Dust It, that's a beautiful song, and you kill that song. 
na bon ça ba nous ça ba nous ça moins béni coup de bas collé it's four songs who cares we will enjoy the shit out of those four songs make them 15 minutes long et puis tout va bien passer don't give us Paul Favor, man. You did a good job on it, yes. But it's not for Sam when you pay your cub, you Oh, be fanatic for Shava, we would. Bruh, that's not what we want from you. Wid, give us Wid music. And I still feel like you're going to have the number one album. <laughs> Talk to the promoters real quick because your customers are extremely unhappy with you guys and unsatisfied. Certain things are in your control. Um, as a promoter, I'm not going to single none of you promoters out. You guys know who you are. That through the Joey Dwight and Baki. Y'all know who y'all are. But certain things are in your control and certain things are not in your control. Sound. That's not in your control. You guys are not sound engineers. Y'all hire somebody to do that. They do a bad job. That's not on y'all. You just got to do better next time. Get a better sound engineer. People said the sound sucked. I wasn't there. I don't know. So my pali pumunyo, this is what brought to my attention. Certain things are in your control. Yeah, charge people $3,500 for VIP. They get, I think, between 10 to 15 tickets. I could be off with a number, but it's no, it's not less than 10 tickets. How do y'all give them seating for maximum five people? <laughs> How do y'all give them seating for five people? Oh, my God. And that was the lucky ones. Some people said they only had seating for three people. Come on, guys. Come on. An event like that sold out before they even started. How, how, how do y'all let that happen, yo? How do you guys let that happen? I'm supposed to be on this channel talking so much positivity, positivity. I can't wait till the next one. Can't wait till the next one. And then people drop that bomb on me. Come on, guys. Whew. Remember I was telling you guys, people that follow me and listen to my stories, y'all know what I'm talking about. Remember I said parties are going to start exceeding the price of $100. It's going to get more, more pricey. So, this is not allegedly. This happened. Tickets went from, I think, $50 to $60, then to $150. I told you that was going to happen. I'm not a prophet. I just be knowing. Not only did it go to $150, some people that bought the cheaper tickets were outside the event selling the tickets back for $300. And guess what? People were paying it. They even got a, a few people that spent... $500 to be inside of that event. <laughs> I love it. And, and who is this guy right here? Eno, Eno, I don't know how to pronounce his head. The guy with the blonde hair. Who is he? Because obviously I wasn't there. So my ground crew was working. Did he really get booed? Is that true? I wasn't there. <laughs> Did he really get booed? Like, why did he get booed? What happened? He Did he sing bad? He didn't dance right? Why, why are we booing this man? Somebody explain. 